Eric. So what else have we got next weekend? There is Jaime Munguia is also in action against, I believe he's James Kelly. He's, yeah, he's from the UK. Uh, he's from my neck of the woods in Manchester. So that's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess he's another Brit being sent over to America to get his ass kicked against Munguia to make it 40 and 0. Probably a nice stoppage. Um, I mean, we need to see Munguia in with some of the top names, don't we, after this one? I guess it's a bit of a knockover. Give us your thoughts on, on Munguia, uh, Alex. You know, Munguia, if anyone can recall, was due to step in for Canelo when he did fail for the Clambuderol. However, uh, the, the commission would not approve it. Yes. Uh, he was get his get a shot against Saddam Ali and uh, signed with Golden Boy, and we haven't seen him really with any true live in prime body since i think uh mm-hmm. gabe Rosado is probably the best matchup uh, and also the best probably victory besides that saddam ali championship win uh if anyone can recall as well he was in talks to fight somebody that we're going to speak about later and unfortunately golden boy slash the zone uh put a block to that uh Mungi is an exciting fighter uh he should smash uh, jimmy kelly who's been tko'd by liam smith and yeah. defeated by dennis hogan yeah, and then and Mungi has beaten both of them. I was going to say Liam Smith wasn't too bad a win back in 2018. Um, oh, that's right. So that was a decent win for, for Mungi. But yeah, he's, you know, at least he's kind of he's active and he's, he's fighting semi regularly um, and he, he keeping his nice long streak going. I think he's got the one of the biggest winning records, hasn't he, currently? For right, any, any, the did. top names. Um, yeah, I thought, on, that the, uh, I thought the Torino Johnson win was uh, pretty solid with the way he went about it, especially that was turning into a pretty good fight. Uh, and but yeah, I agree. And as far as this matchup, yeah, I don't expect Kelly to offer much. I watched the last one against Demetrius Ballard, who was a guy out of this area who was undefeated, but I felt that uh, Mania was gonna get him out of there because he's not a super active fighter. Uh, but yeah, I. You know, a lot of names have been thrown out there, potential matchups for Mungia, but it's a matter of uh, getting pinned to paper. So I definitely like to see him in with some of the top guys. And I think he would do fairly well because I like the work that has gone on with him being linked to uh, El Terrible, Eric Morales. And I think that has helped kind of evolve his game a bit from where he started out. So I think he has the goods to be one of the top guys in the division or to be that potential top guy in the division. It's just a matter of now him getting those matchups that truly put him in that place. Yeah. Who would you like to see him in there with if that's not putting you too much on the spot of those top top names in that in that middleweight division? Well, uh, I, I want to see him take on, uh, I, I probably would say uh, Jamal Charlo is like the, yeah. the, the top one that I want to see. That seems like a very logical one. And I think it would make for a very interesting fight. Both of them are sizable, Mangia being a little bit bigger. And just given their style, we know that Jamal is going to come behind the jab. And, and Mangia, he shaped himself offensively. So I think they could just make for an interesting style clash. So I think that is probably the one that I would say I would like to see. And I think it would answer a lot of questions for both of them. Yeah. Um, Alex, is have you got a preference for who Mungia faces? Anyone of interest to you? Definitely Jamal Charlo. Uh, You know, Demetrius Andrade, he's been number one contender, been offered mandatory spot and has turned it down uh, multiple times. Uh, Triple G as well. You know, the top guys, like you said, Mungia has a nice style. Uh, Him and Er uh, Eric Morales seem to be uh, working well together. He's working off the jab, setting up his shots a lot uh, more efficiently. So yeah, those top guys definitely. It's it's beyond time if you ask me. Yeah, I really wouldn't mind him see see him in against Chris Eubank Jr. You know, that I think that could be a great a great fight. Whether that would ever be made, <laughs> I'm not too sure. <laughs> yeah, that would be an interesting one for sure. Yeah, that would be. Um, I'd favor. Uh... I probably favor Mungia, but I think it would be interesting. Yeah, I mean, I think if he if he doesn't seem all that keen to kind of take up the, the steps to those top guys, the Charlos and, and Golovkins, 
it's probably a good uh, kind of next step before that I'd, I'd imagine um, so whether it's feasible or not who knows uh, anyway let's move on